Did you know that 90% of traders give up after the first three months of being a trader? Yeah, so instead of you being another statistic, I'm gonna show you in this video how I've been able to do multiple six-figure years from trading Forex and how you can replicate this very simple and easy strategy as soon as of today. This isn't anything that you're gonna find on the internet. And guys, this is something that I've been holding back for a very long time. So it's time to release the curtains and show you guys my ideal perfect setups why I take these trades and once again how you guys can replicate these trades on an everyday basis and see five to six figure trading years in 2023 if you guys could like this video it would mean a ton to me hit that subscribe button and also turn the post notifications on so you know when I am posting I think this is a part where we get into my computer and I show you the juicy information that's gonna make you all the money so without further ado let's get into my computer They say 80% of success is showing up, so give yourself a pat on the back for showing up. Now, I want to go over with you guys in this video my ideal perfect setups that I take, how you guys can replicate them, and what I'm overall looking for on an everyday basis to really show me that this is going to be a profitable setup. So we're going to go through a couple of days in November. Let's see if we can find some good setups, but I want to start with this first day here. And by the way, all I trade is US 30. I would suggest that you guys do the same thing. Just focus on one currency pair, really hone on it, hone in on it, and figure out like how to trade every single day and get really good at it. So with US 30, all I do is I trade at the market open. The market open, let me write this down for you guys. Let's make it very simple. So computer will work. Market open on us 30 is 6 30 a.m pst that's when the market open is for us 30 and what i mean by the market open is that's when the stock market bell opens up in new york and that's when all the money is being fluctuated in or out of the market this is the time that we are going to be seeing the really big moves happening in the market so we can see on the minute 15 chart, this candle right here, it says 615 on the bottom. This candle opens up at 615, closes at 630. That's the time that we're going to be looking to trade. Once this candle closes, that's when we're going to be looking at that candle and be like, okay, is this a reversal candle, continuation candle? Is this giving me any tell sign that it's going to go up or it's going to go down? If I do not see a setup on this candle, the next candle that I'll, that I'll usually wait for, and this is the last time that I'll trade, is this 6.30 to 6.45. So what I'll usually do is like, let's say I show up to my markets at, or let's say I show up to the markets at 6.25 a.m. I'm usually doing my analysis, a quick top-down analysis, figuring out what I see in the markets, if I like what I see. Now, once I'm done with that, if I have my bias set for 6.30, I'm going to execute a trade. If I don't see a candle or a setup that I like, then I'm simply going to set a timer on my phone for 13 minutes. So I'm going to set a timer on my phone for 13 minutes. Once it goes off, I'll be back at my computer at about 643. So I have two minutes to look at this next candle to see how it's going to close to really give me confirmation. A lot of the time, though, I am getting my entry candle right at 6.30 a.m. And guys, I'm really using the minute 15 and the minute 30 time frame to overall give me my bias. But I do look at the hour one chart to overall see how did that 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. candle close because that's going to give us a ton of confirmation, that candle right there. Back to the minute 15. So... If I see my setup at 6.30, I take it, put my stop loss by take profit, boom. Then after that, if I don't see a setup, I'm waiting for the next candle to close at 6.45 to really give me my confirmation. Now, I want to go over with you guys, like, why is this right here my ideal perfect setup? One thing that we need to understand is when we zoom out, we are in a clear uptrend, guys. Like, we are pushing up very heavy, especially if we look at the higher time frames, like, we are very bullish right now on us 30. so one thing that i did is like we're clearly in an uptrend we do kind of have this range right here that we need to break and that's where i expected the market to do that 
was on this day right here. So I was looking at the Asia session right here and I saw that we had this nice consolidation. It was starting to drop a little lower and then it started to push back up during London. So yeah, we did break the low of the Asia session right here, but then we broke the high and we actually continued to stay above it going into the New York session. So a big hack for you guys, when you're trading, look at the two prior sessions before the New York session to overall get your bias on what is going to happen during the New York session. If we see that the Asia high is being broken, it's most likely going to go long. If the Asia low is being broken and being held, it's most likely going to be short. So we did break the high and we stayed in that high position right there. So just looking right before the New York the um, New York session opened up, we were bullish. Going into the New York session, into the market open at 6.30, I was like, oh, we're already seeing a bunch of bullish candles right here. And if you guys need a video on how to identify candlestick patterns better, go to this video right here, Ultimate Candlestick Forex Guide that I made. You can type in quote most def, candlesticks, and it should pop up. So when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing this 6.15 to 6.30 candle already bullish. And I'm saying, look, we're already pushing up. I'm going to buy right here and I'm going to have my stops below the previous low. And I'm going to simply target this next psychological level of 34,000. That's exactly what I did right here. And that trade actually did play out. It took a little bit of time, but overall, it did end up hitting our TP about three hours and 45 minutes. And guys, major hack. Let me put this on the boards. Hack. Set and forget your trades. Guys, set your trade and forget it. You don't need to be staring at the markets every single minute, seeing what it's doing, how your trade's going. Simply set your trade and forget it. And TradingView does have something called alert so if i put like my stop right here and let's say i have my tp right here we can set an alert so if we go right here and click it anywhere you're going to put these numbers for your take profit right here so 34 let's just put 34,000, and then i can put whatever i want it to say when it will send me an email show up on the notify on the app show up whatever it is us 30 hit tp and i'll create that okay then I'll add another alert right here for my stop loss. So 33, 7, 9, 2, 9. And I'll put US 30 hit stop loss. Just like that. So I don't have to stare at the charts all day long. All I have to do is set my alerts. And I'm going to be alerted just like when your boyfriend or girlfriend calls you. And you're going to know when your trade hit your take profit or hit your stop loss. And obviously you're gonna enter these parameters, these numbers on your MetaTrader 4 when you're trading off your phone or your computer, whatever it is. So major hack right there guys, set and forget your trades. Now what I wanna do is go back to, let's go back to August. There was a really, really good setup, I think in the second week of August like this, but a bearish setup. Let me see if I could find it. Okay, we're pushing up. There's a bullish, bearish. Okay, this is like one of my ideal perfect setups right here, just like I showed you, but in a bearish form. We can see that right here, this right here is around our Asia session, okay? Then this all down here, this is our London session, then obviously New York and market opener right here. Once again, like I said a second ago, we're going to be looking at the prior sessions to give us the feedback on what we think is going to happen in the New York session or at the market open. We can see that from this day to this day, we are in a very clear downtrend. It's just a very gradual downtrend going lower and lower. So when I see this already happening, that we're getting hitting new lower lows, then I know at the market open, right here at this candle once i see this bearish candle close i'm like oh perfect we're already all in a downtrend we have this bearish candle right here this is how i'm going to set up my trade i'm going to go short 
I'm going to have my stop right above this previous high. And for my TP, I'm going to aim for this next psychological level. These are your ideal perfect trading days, or at least my perfect trading days, when I can identify the trend that we're in. And it just, it's, it's a very clean downtrend. It's not spiking down, then pushing up, and then down. Notice how smooth this is. It's just smooth. These are the markets that you guys want to be in, where it's just really nice and smooth, just going lower and lower, but it's not going at a very volatile pace. It's just very smooth. These are the markets that you guys want to be trading in, and the payouts are very high. Like on this trade, if we aim for the second psychological level, that's 2,700 pips you guys could have caught right there. 2,700 pips is a very good trading day, and at the end of the day, all you guys really need when you're trading US 30 is about 2,000 pips a week. Let's say this. US 30, okay, so six figure US 30 strat to G. First thing that you need to do is I would get a funded account with, I would say like $100,000. Okay, with that, you're going to be doing so your loss size will be with my Forex funds and FTMO like a 10 lot to 15 lot if you catch. So with 2,000 pips on a 10 lot is $2,000. Okay, then... 2,000 times 4 equals, what is that, $8,000? $8,000. So if you guys can make these steps happen, you can be at a six-figure income with US 30. All you have to do is get a funded account. You have to pass a challenge. Use my Forex funds, FTMO, get a 100K account. It's like $500 to take the challenge. Not a lot at all. Get that passed. Once you're actually funded, you're going to be using a lot size of a 10 lot to 15 lot. Um, if you're catching 2,000 pips on a 10 lot, that's $2,000. Obviously, you're going to have to like subtract your 80% that you're going to be able to take home on the profit. But eventually, it gets to 90% with FTMO. And my Forex funds, they max out at 85%. So you would you would basically like the overall goal would be to make 2,500 pips a week. That would get you at 10K, and then if you're taking 80% of that home, you're taking 8K home. What is that? I'm horrible with math, but if we do 8,000 8, times 12, that's $96,000 right there from trading a year. So you'll literally be at that six-figure income, and this is just like the threshold. This is a start right here. So once you really get your money up from trading, and you compound that 100k account, maybe you get a 200k account, guys, the possibilities are endless. But I'm saying all you really need is one trade like this a week for 2,000 pips, 2,700 pips, and you're good. That's all you need. Guys, I really hope that you got value from this video. What I would do is go to US30 now and apply what I taught you. See if you can identify a day like this. I will see you on the next video. Peace out. Thank you.